So do do not, do not, do do not. I wish I could unsee. Oh, let me, please don't fall. Yeah, hello team. My name is Monique. Welcome back to The Cauldron. And this is my February wrap up. In case you didn't know, this is Book Witch Reviews, my channel. And I monthly do a game called TBR Tombola. And this is the wrap up of my February TBR try. I did okay. And I will say I read a solid amount of books for the fact that February is shorter than other months. I read 12 books in total, which comes to around 5,061 pages, which is quite good and quite proud. I also finished two series, or at least what is out of them already. So let's just jump straight into it. The first book that I officially finished was a leftover from my January TBR. This is Cemetery Boys by Aidan Thomas, which is a magical realism book where we are following Yadriel, who is trying to prove his magic to his family by summoning a ghost. However, he accidentally summons the wrong ghost and there are queer feelings. There is a trans rep and I absolutely adored this book. Ended up giving it 3.75 stars, nearly four stars. The pacing is really nice nice however I felt like there were a couple of things that we could have like explored more it could have been a little bit longer however the relationship between Yadriel and Julian was truly beautiful and I really 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 am excited to read more by this author the first full book that I read in February was Kings of the Wild by Nicholas Ames, which ended up being my favourite book of the month. This was a solid five star. This is an adult fantasy novel that is set around the idea of a D&D &D campaign and a band campaign. However, the main characters are all old and grumpy. They have been heroes. They don't want to do it anymore. However, their leader comes around and ends up asking them to join together again to go save his daughter. And Honestly, like, Clay is an angry cinnamon bun and I love him to death. Like, this was so good. This was a leftover from my December TBR, actually, which is really bad. But it was read. It was loved. And I'm very excited about very soon being able to read the sequel, Bloody Rose, which is apparently even better and has even more queer rep. There is only, like, side character queer rep in this one. But it's just, it's just really funny. And I just really loved it. The next book I read was the first book from my official TBR. It was a chance card featuring my least favourite trope and for that I finally read another Cassandra Clare book. This is Clockwork Angel which is the first book in her The Infernal Devices series which is a trilogy set prior to the Mortal Instruments. This is in her Chateau Hondo universe in case you have been living under a rock or just really don't care about hype book Cassandra Clare's Chateau Hondo universe is very 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 loved in the YA fantasy sort of universe. It is set in an urban fantasy setting. This is set in Victorian London. I thought that it was good. It has a lot of promise like it's very intriguing. It's also a nice fast read and though it did have the treacle ins of a love triangle. I can still hope for a sort of more even love triangle instead of just two guys being in love with a girl. I can hope that it is a slightly also in love with each other. I don't think that's true, but that's what I'm wishing for. So I ended up giving this three stars. I thought it was generally overall good and I am very excited about reading the rest of the series. This book came in on my TBR as number 50 and let us check our little magic bingo sheet whether or not we have 50. Dee -dee 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 -dee. We do not moving. On. The next book I then tried to read was a e-arc that I have of Beneath the Keep by Erica Johansson, which is a book set prior to the Tearling series, which is a series that I absolutely adored. However, I just had to put this away. It was too violent. I had to DNF it at least for now because there was just, there were too many trigger warnings for me. It was too intense and I just couldn't handle it at that point. I'm hoping to at one point go back to this book and read it. However, right now it's sadly a DNF for me. Next up, I then decided to have a reread of A Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. And then following that, I read The Closed and Common Orbit and The Record of a Spaceborn Few, though I did have a stop in the middle of this and then came back to it. This is the first, second and third book of 
the Wayfarer series. The first book is an absolute joy of a reread for me. The second book was a genuine surprise and were both five stars. The Red Space Bond View ended up being a three and a half, maybe 3.75 book for me. It was good, but it had nothing on the two first books. And then I also read The Galaxy and the Ground Within, which is the newest book, which I had an e arc of, and it was absolutely stunning. And it was another five star. This is a series of a companion books where we are set in a far away future where humans are out in the galaxy humanity has left earth because it could no longer sustain us and in the first book we meet the uh, wayfarer crew who are on board of this very particular little spaceship that basically creates doorways or motorways in the galaxy and they get offered a huge payout if they make this particular hole in a almost war-torn space. It is a very interesting, very queer, loving, very beautiful alien sort of look at humanity and what it means to be human and what it means to work together and I adore each and every book in the series record less than the others and I especially especially adored The Galaxy and the Ground Within which I believe is now my shared favorite with the first book. So each of these books had an actual number. A Closed and Common Orbit came as number 21 which was to continue a series so let's check the bingo sheet. Can we see 21? No we cannot. Moving on. Number 34 was another sci-fi and for that I read Record of a Space Born Few. Let us see if we have 34 on our thing. Boop, 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 boop. We do not. We have 33 and fucking 39. What even? And then last but not least we had another sci-fi at number 34 and that we do not have on the thing either. But I read a whole series so I'm quite proud. I am still hoping that there will be more books in this one because I need more of these aliens. I need more of Becky Chambers writing. However, people are saying that The Galaxy Underground Within was the last book in the series and then I will cry. So, and then a very out of the blue, I decided to have a reread of the a Court of Thorns and of Roses series, except for actually rereading A Court of Thorns and Roses, which I sort of want to do now because now I have them in hardback. But I basically decided to reread these because of the anticipation for the newest book, A Court of Silver Flames. And basically, I decided to do a reread of each of these books. So A Court of Mist and Fury ended up with a five star. I was surprised because I'm not a crazy big fan of Feyre and Rysand. I did do a reaction reading vlog for this little readathon that I did with myself. I will leave a link to it down below if you would like to check it out. It has minor spoilers for the whole series and also for the new book. So do not wa watch it. So do do not do not do do not. So do not watch it unless you are prepared for these spoilers. I then read A Court of Wings and Ruin and enjoyed it. It's a four star for me. And then I read A Court of Frost and Starlight, which is my least liked in the series. And I ended up giving it three stars. It is fine. I do not love it very much. And in case you did not know, the Court of Fonts and Roses series by Sarah J Maas is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. And in the first book, we meet Feyre, who is a young huntress who goes into this winter forest to basically save her family. One day she comes across a deer and which is at the same time also stalked by a wolf. And so she kills the wolf, which turns out to be a fairy. And Tamlin comes for her, who is the fairy lord of the spring court and things ensue from there. It is a much loved, I would say new adult series. I wouldn't really say that it's young adult. I've forgotten how much sex is in here. However, I adore Sarah J Maas. Her Throne of Glass series is one of my absolute favorite and this one is a little bit older so I anticipated that I would love it more. I do not. I love Throne of Glass the most but I really enjoyed this reread. And then I obviously read the newest book, A Court of Silver Flames, which is the fifth book technically in this series if you count A Court of Frost and Starlight as the fourth book. I do not. I count it as a stupid novella that I wish I could unsee. However, this book absolutely had my heart. It wasn't quite a five star. However, I believe that on a reread that might change. Nesta is Feyre's sister and she has a huge impact on the series as a whole. I can, will obviously not go too much into it because I don't want to create any spoilers for you. But this book 
was absolutely amazing. I really connected with Nesta on a deep level because of who she is as a person and how she reacts to her circumstances. And I really, really, really loved this and I'm so happy that I got to read it. And now I just want the next books. I ended up swapping a book on my TBR for this book because I wasn't smart enough to add it in when I meant to. And it comes in at number 12 as an adult fantasy. So let us look if it is on the number list. 12, 12, 12. Oh, it is. 12 is there. I hadn't even seen that. That's wonderful. Let's cross it out. A pen and a penny pen. Ha -ha. Oh, that is just wonderful. We got 12. We're swapping it. We're crossing it out, team. We're crossing it out. I need to sort out how to do this game better. But, you know, enjoyment with me. That's one number. Here we go. On the list, we have number 28, which is a high fantasy. And I accidentally put this book on the list. And it's not technically a high fantasy. But this is what we're going to run with. This is The Black Guard's Drum by P. Delcy Clark, which is a short story urban fantasy sort of magical realism book where we are following creeper who lives in an alternative new orleans she is a young street urchin in this world is sort of steampunky we also have haitian sky pirates and creeper has an ancient african goddess in her head speaking to her things ensue i wish this book was longer i ended up giving it three slash 3.5 stars however i am excited about reading more from this author oh this is what I read in February, which was short. Am I proud of me? Absolutely. Do I do nothing other than read? Pretty much it. I work and I read and then that's it, team. That's it. So yes, these are the 12 books that I read in February. I hope you enjoyed this wrap up. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button at the same time so you don't miss out on any other videos from me. You can also click the little bell which will give you a notification when I put up a new video, which I do regularly. Let me know in the comments below what you read in February, which one was your favorite. And then honestly, I just need to put these back in place and I need some air because I'm sweating. So I hope this video finds you well. I hope you know that I'm proud of you and you're doing great. And I'll see you guys next time with another video. Bye.